current position on the map. To check the map and current mission status, press the start button and open the menu. Welcome back. Hurry. To Let's Play Zone of the Enders Second Runner. Some pretty rockin' music, man. Okay, so me and Taper, we are going places. One of these buttons zooms out the map. There we go. Now, there is... The diamonds are... I don't know what the diamonds are. The plus sign is Metatron. And there's a circle thing in the room behind me that I don't know what that is. Probably an enemy. Now, this is actually something a lot of people would find irritating, which is a defense mission. You have to keep Taper alive. It's actually not that hard. Wah! Oh my. Hi there. Now, the enemies will actually go for Taper. You have to pay attention. Come here, you. Oh man, there's a Cyclops down here. Hey! Leave him alone! Are the mines? No, the mines are not still there. Now, the reason it's actually not a huge deal is they'll go after him and you gotta do your best to you defend for? it or um, guard him. But you can also swing him around like a weapon. And you can heal him. It does take some of your sub-energy to heal him, but you get that back by fighting and killing, dude, so whatever. Ah, uh, more of these dudes. Alright, Taper, I'll be back in a second. I like it when you kill everything in, like, one swing and the camera just, like... Like, jostles back and forth between, like, 18 dudes. And you just get this bam, 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 bam! Love it! I like this game! What you doing be hating on my liking of this game? Now, I see a life bar. There's Metatron in here, but I don't really need it, so I'll leave it be. There's a diamond up there, and I don't know what it is, so... Alright, Taper, you just hold up. There's a guy! I should probably... Ah, oh, crap! How do you play this game again? There we go. They want to move their Taper. This isn't going to hurt nobody. And by nobody, I mean everyone. Please be enough to kill it. Alrighty, you and me, Taper. We are going places. And by going places, I mean I could actually spend some time and clear this area out if I wanted to. There's some Metatron in this room. I could if I wanted to, though, and um, that would actually be decent for grinding up life. I'm not gonna bother, though. Maybe the plus is Taper. Yeah, the plus is Taper, so the diamonds are Metatron. Alright, Taper, you wait there. These cannons are actually... can be kind of dangerous. Where are you, Taper? There you are. So where are we go? Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm probably gonna be skipping what looks to be. Yeah, we're skipping a lot of fights by going up this path. Maybe I'll poke down and see what's in F, just to see what's in it. Oh, that is not good. That is not what I wanted to lock onto. Also, not what I wanted to lock onto. That's what I wanted to lock onto. Now, you can't actually just hack at these things and take them out if you want to, so there's that. There's also a Cyclops up there being a real jerk. Can I grab this cellar? No. Hold your pants, Taper. Destroyed. Oh my, I don't want to hear this. 
Yeah, 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 whatever. You'll be fine. So where am I going? There was some Metatron in there or something that I think I got. There's also a yellow thing in the room down there, and I still am not entirely sure what yellow things are. So let's go check out F. Because why not? These cannons, man, they're, they don't fudge around. Nobody? Nobody? Just taper? So what exactly was supposed to be in this room that was so fantastic? Because I'm not seeing much anything. Oh well, whatever. Instead, we're going to go wherever it is that places go. Hold up. I wonder if- do they die if I destroy the platform they're on? I guess they do! Where's the other one? There you are. By the way, I know I, like, it didn't use the grab at all in the previous game. I'm gonna be using it a lot in this game, because the grab is kind of fantastic. could be very similar to yours. I will let you know when I get there safely. Thank you for your help. Yeah, yeah. Don't hold me back in Mars. That's my line. Well, I'm leaving now. Hey, what's Mars like now? What do you want to know? How's the military situation? You should know. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Ouch. By the way, what's your mission anyway? Quick, enemy approaching! Well, see you later! Okay, now if you want to know how much harder this game is on normal than it is on easy, I had a heck of a time beating this one fight on normal. You're a jerk, and I want to grab you and throw you into something. Enemy destroyed. I'm actually taking far more damage than I need to take, just because I kind of want to, like... Come on, where the crap is the leader? There he is. There are commanders in this game, just like there were in the previous. This commander now is actually um, arranging and using the other dudes, which will make them all much more dangerous. You also notice this is an interesting type of raptor. Um, actually, no, I don't want to say it's a different type of raptor. It's probably just because they had a commander that you see that like image around them. That guy has Metatron. I'm going to say it. I killed like four of them by swinging that one guy around, it was pretty great.
doesn't look any different. What's that? Viola. I don't want to fight with Viola, even if she is AI. Let's go. This is bad. We're almost at the landing point. We've landed on Mars. Confirm our location. The edges of West Margaritifer, the state border of Vasilia territory. Dingo. First, you need to enter into Vasilia County. Wait. Tell me your location, and then... Wait. Ask Ada about the most suitable route to Vasilia. Wait a second! What's wrong? What's going on here? Burned ruins stretched as far as the eye can see. You were living in the backwoods, so you couldn't know. But in the last half year, the situation on Mars has changed drastically. Tell me more. It's a long story. I bet. Don't fall asleep. Hurry up. Half year ago, Bahram began to gain control of the military in every county on Mars. Then, the Mars Liberation Movement against Earth's oppression began to surface. Now, Bahram's war potential is very strong, far different from when you were around. The Space Force put up a stubborn resistance. But without a major war, Mars was occupied by Bahram in a flash. One month ago, the Space Force was almost wiped out, except for a few remnants. We attacked Vasilia County, the Baram foothold, with the total force we had then. That was thoughtless. Certainly. We knew what was going to happen. The Space Force suffered destruction, so there's not much time to destroy the remaining forces at the enemy base. Although, we did find a special thing. That's the Vector Cannon Taper mentioned. The Vector Cannon is a weapon that delivers a high-energy wave by space compression. The outer shield of the enemy fortress Almon defends from invasion with a mass dislocation created by space compression. The Vector Cannon is the only weapon that can nullify that defense and pierce it. Urenbeck Catapult, Orbital Frame, Vector Cannon, so they're all byproducts of Metatron. It's a bad habit of mankind to want to use its new toys immediately. Don't you agree? However, the military unit has been missing in Vasilia since they acquired the Vector Cannon. Taper, who you met on Deimos, must have come to get it back. Why is it so important? Dingo, do you know about the Almon Project? I only recognize the name. When Dr. Rikoa Hardiman was in good health. Noman's father. After Dr. Hardiman died, his son Ridley, that is Noman, took over command of the plan. He then made a full-scale model. Almon is a huge military fortress that uses a great amount of Metatron to construct weapons of mass destruction. When it is fully operational, it won't make sense for Earth to send any amount of forces against it. Almon will have over a million times the power of Anubis, and you've seen the damage that can do. Can you imagine what it will be like? Why did Noman want to get Jehuti? He's already got a great weapon, hasn't he? Actually, Anubis and Jehuti were developed as part of the Almon plan. What do you mean? Those two were a key element in starting Almon. That plan was made by Dr. Hardiman. Only those two machines can make Almon move or stop. 
So, Noman has already got Anubis. He probably thinks Jehuti is a bother. He either wants it, or wants it destroyed. Normally, Anubis and Jehuti have the same abilities, so only Jehuti can fight against Bara more potential, which was much increased through the technological research of Anubis. That's why you made me have such a terrible experience. No need to thank me. Mars terraforming is still a long way from perfect, so it's still too weak to be a battlefield. Several years ago, there was an attack on Earth by the hawkish faction of Mars, but it was a failure in the end because another power from Mars intervened. Then, Varam learned that they should put pressure on Mars with military force before attacking Earth, strengthening their foothold. The Space Force's power couldn't match Varam. Earth can't approach Mars, which is under constant surveillance by Almon. Earth won't be talking big to Mars. Earth and Mars bow down to Almon, because of Noman, actually. Is Almon in Vasilia? Anubis and Noman are there too. Almon is already getting ready. He must be happy. Hey, we have to stop Almon and Noman. We have the same purpose, don't we? Our cooperation is not so bad after all, is it? I know you'll cut off my life support if I refuse. You have your duty to do. I don't care about Earth or Mars. My aim is to get Noman. You're all just the same as Baram, aren't you? So don't go thinking you're champions of justice. Sorry to interrupt your conversation, but an unidentified combat vehicle is approaching. Hey, I have to go. I'll disconnect. N no, wait! Damn it. Let's be done with it. <laughs>